What's up, you fine fucks, and welcome back to Fine Foods Food Review. It's the only place on YouTube where you can see me eating food. And today, we got something a little out of the ordinary. I know you're used to seeing me eat either noodles or wine. And um, today I'm switching it up. I've got some um, salmon poke from Waitrose. Um, came with a nice bit of... Um, soy sauce marinade and I put some uh, Japanese mayo on there because you know why the fuck not so for those of you who don't know poke is basically just raw fish and rice with like a bit of salad and you're probably thinking what the fuck that sounds like sushi but it's not because it's from Hawaii and um like so like sushi was like a thing in Japan but then before the English invaded America back in like the, like whenever America got started. When was the start of America? Like the 1700s or something? I don't know. But yeah, before then, Hawaii was a subsect of Japan and then the English like fucked it up. So um, yeah, that's why poke is from Hawaii. But now let's go ahead and eat it. Um, I'm gonna give it a little mix up, get that um, get that soy sauce mixed in there. So we got raw salmon, we got avocado, we got seaweed, we got um, edamame, and some spring onion. And I think the best thing we can do is just have it all in one and see how it tastes. That is fucking heavenly. Um, yeah, that's that's good. Um, this is from Waitrose, and you know you wouldn't expect their food to be amazing because it's like a supermarket, but they do raw fish really well. Um, you'd think it would be it would be hard to like fuck up raw fish, but like Tesco fucks it up, M and S fucks it up. Um, Sainsbury's I don't even know if they do sushi, but um, if they did, I'm sure they'd fuck it up because. Waitrose is the only good place to get raw fish these days. Um, let's have a little bit of this salmon on its own. Mm. Fucking, fucking delicious. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I dropped a bit of seaweed on myself. What are you going to do? Um, so, all in all, I'm feeling a solid mm, 8 out of 10 for this salmon poke. Fucking, fucking phenomenal. Absolutely loved it. And as is a tradition that we sort of let slip to the side on the Fine Foods channel, um, I usually wash down my meals with a drink and we're bringing that back. We're coming back to Fine Foods drink washing down review. And today I've got some Easy Peeler Citrus Season Session even citrus session IPA from Four Pure Brewery Brewing Company, Brewing Company, Brewing Company. I can speak. I promise. Um, yeah. Um, it's an IPA. Basically, all IPAs taste the same. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments from beer fiends being like, "No, all IPAs are so different and they have such distinct flavor palettes." Shut the fuck up. All IPAs taste the same. But this one's got orange in it, so you never know. It might. Taste a little bit different. I'll give you the ASMR ring pull. Mm. Already getting a very IPA aroma. Um, I really want to believe that there's orange in this, but um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to taste it because I can't smell any orange. Hmm. Hmm. Let me let me have one more sip, one more, and I'll actualize my profile thoughts. You know what that tastes like? It tastes like every other IPA I've ever had. Um, you know, it's perfectly nice, good, refreshing, but um, for originality, it's not happening for me. So I'm feeling. A five out of ten for this because it's perfectly adequate but you know what every IPA is perfectly adequate so um I'm sorry for pure bureau or company I swear I'm gonna get that word right one day um 
you're not quite doing it for me. But at the end of the day, it's alcoholic and it's cold, and that's all you really want from life. Um, so that concludes today's episode of Fine Foods Food Review, the only place on YouTube where you can see me eating food, sometimes with a guest sitting in the background. Um, hit the like button if you like the video, hit the dislike button if you dislike the video, because we're all about equal representation of opinions here on the Fine Foods channel. Um, Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell because I don't upload very often and it's always nice to be notified when I do. Leave a comment telling me how much you love me because, you know, I've been, I've been getting a bit lonely and it's always nice to be reminded that someone is desperately in love with me and I know that you all are. Um, yeah, that's about it. So um, it's a goodbye from me. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Jess. Thank you. I swear the guests never say goodbye. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Bye, you fucking whore.